Grady Sizemore was well on the path on being one of baseball's next superstars in the mid-2000s. Through his first four full seasons, he appeared in three All-Star games, collected two gold gloves, and one silver slugger. But his age 25 season would be his last full season in the big leagues. So, what could have been? It is not completely outlandish to suggest that Grady Sizemore was not only a superstar in the making, but well on his way to a Hall of Fame career. And here's why. After making his debut on July 21st, 2004, Sizemore would play four full seasons from 2005 to 2008, which also included a stretch of 382 consecutive games played, which ended on April 27th, 2008. During that four-year stretch, Sizemore accumulated a 27.3 F4, which places him 19th all-time in F4 for position players ages 22 through 25 seasons just behind Barry Bonds. In addition, he only trailed Alex Rodriguez, Albert Pujols, and Chase Utley in total F4 during this stretch. Sizemore was also only second to A-Rod in total runs scored during this time. According to Baseball Reference, the players Sizemore is most similar to during that four-year stretch were Duke Snyder, a Hall of Famer, Mookie Betts, a future Hall of Famer, and Barry Bonds, a should-be Hall of Famer. To understand his four-year stretch a little better, here's Grady Sizemore's stats in comparison to Mookie Betts' stats from their first four seasons. Across the board, their numbers are very similar. And comparing Sizemore to Mookie Betts, a modern player who we see as probably being in the Hall of Fame one day, helps to shape the narrative of how great Sizemore was in his first full four seasons. What's even crazier is that Sizemore never truly hit his stride, or what some would say, his prime. An insane stat to comprehend is that Grady Sizemore ranks 25th among position players in F4 from 2005 to 2012, an eight-season stretch in which he only played four full seasons, because from 2009 to 2012, he only played 210 games and completely missed the 2012 campaign, meaning he only played 32% of his team's games, yet finished ranked 25th among all position players in F4 during those eight seasons. Wow, Grady should have won the MVP in 2006 as he was only second to Johan Santana in war in his age 23 season, a season that included 134 runs scored, 349 total bases, both which are marks that Mike Trout has never achieved, 751 plays plate appearances, which is 26th all-time, as well as 53 doubles, which is 33rd all-time. Sizemore was putting up video game numbers throughout his amazing four-year stretch, all of which never occurred during his prime. Furthermore, since 1904, seven MLB players have collected at least 700 hits, 100 home runs, 450 runs, and an OPS of at least 850 in their age 22 through 25 seasons. Those players would be Lou Gehrig, Joe DiMaggio, Jimmy Fox, Hanley Ramirez, Albert Pujols, Alex Rodriguez, and Grady Sizemore. To be a part of such a class of players, one would only assume this indicates greatness to come. Unfortunately, that wouldn't be the case for Grady Sizemore. Sizemore would cross paths with an injury demon and would never recover. He started off 2009 with injuring his left groin and pulling out of the World Baseball Classic, then proceeding to have an underwhelming 2009, later ending the season early to have surgery on his left elbow. One week after having elbow surgery, he elected to have surgery on the groin that kept him out of the 2009 World Baseball Classic, indicating that he was playing injured the whole season with multiple injuries. In 2010, Sizemore would only play 33 games after having surgery on his left knee. Sizemore would return on April 17, 2011, going 2 for 4 with a double and a home run, but would head back to the disabled list in May, then again in July, and eventually having surgery that sidelined him until September. He finished the 2011 season playing 71 games. 2012, he would have surgery on his back, but would have multiple setbacks on his back and the knee that also was surgically repaired on, leaving Sizemore out all of 2013 as well, as he wouldn't commit to playing for a team until he believed he was able to perform. Sizemore would sign with the Red Sox in 2014, being named the opening day center fielder and hit a solo homer on opening day. His stint with the Red Sox ended on June 18th after being released. He then signed a minor league deal with the Phillies on June 24th and joined the major league roster on July 11th, and also collected his 1,000th hit on July 25th. He signed a one-year deal for the 2015 season but was released on June 1st. On June 15th, he would sign a minor league deal with the Rays and appeared in 58 games. After the 2015 season, Grady Sizemore's career was was over. A three-time All-Star, two gold gloves, and one silver slugger in his first four full seasons. A man that graced the cover of Sports Illustrated, Grady's Ladies, and not only a superstar in the making, but a Hall of Famer in the making, Grady Sizemore was a true five-tool superstar waiting to happen. A generational talent, some have said. What could have been is an understatement, as Grady Sizemore was well on his way to becoming one of this generation's greatest players. 